Uh, good morning, uh, boys and girls. Uh, today we are going to learn about we are going to learn about adding by breaking apart. And I can remember the last time we talked about breaking apart. What we had done, it was we are supposed to we did eighteen plus six, and we are supposed to break apart the second number. Now today, what we'll do, we'll do we'll still do the breaking apart, but this time we are going to use objects and the object we are going to use it's a, a rectangle so when you will be doing that work at home make sure you count three four lines going across four lines going across then three lines going downwards like that and please use the margin line the blue lines, then after that you draw a line making half. Remember we had talked about fractions? You make your rectangle half. After, what you have, after you have done that, what you'll do, we are going to color. You'll use a light color, like color pink. We use, you can use color blue, but when you're shading your color, don't use a lot of, don't put energy there. You can just shade it like this. Don't use a lot of energy so that we'll, we'll write a number. We'll just shade it, color it lightly. And this time we are going to do what? We are going to break the, the, the part that has been colored. That is where we are going to the number that is there, the one that is where we are going to do what? We are going to break it. Now, we write here 54. This one is the uncolored, it is unshaded part or colored part. Then we write here number eight. So, what we'll do, we are supposed to break the, the, the part that has not been, the, the part that has been colored, which is number eight. So you will do like this. We are going to look for two numbers that when you add, you'll get eight. We have several. Like we can say four plus four, it will give you eight. A number, another number is two plus six will give you eight. Another number, it will be six plus two will give you eight. Another number will be 8 plus 0 will give you 8. But for today, we are going to use 6 plus 2. So we'll write our 6 here and 2. After you have written like that, we'll start writing 54. You write 54. Remember we are adding, and adding is putting together plus 6 plus 2. After you have gotten your, uh, you, you've broken it like this, then we'll take the first two numbers. So we write 54 plus 6 is equals to. Remember we said that we are going to be using our body parts. And most, most of the time when we say our body parts, we use our fi fingers. So we put the 54 in our head. Then we start. 54 in my head, 6 fingers. 54, then 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. So we'll write 60 here. Then after that, we'll take this 60, we write it down here, plus we take, we take our 2. This is our 2. Remember, we had used 6, so we are using the second number that we had broken, which is 2. Then we write 2 here is equals to. Then we start, we still count using our body parts, 66, sorry, 60 in my head, two fingers, 60, 61, 62. So our answer is going to be 62. Then we can still have another, we can still use another object and that is going to be the a heart. This one you have given example with the what? with the rectangle. 
So yeah, I'm going to use another example with the hat. And when you're trying to draw, please use a ruler to make your work straight and neat. And always remember to be good boys and girls to your parents. This one is a hat. Mm -hmm. So we'll have our number here, seven. Then the number will go, is going to be 25 plus, remember we are breaking this number seven plus seven. We are breaking this number seven. So we are going to check which, which two numbers when you add it will give you seven. We can have three plus four is equals to seven. Six plus one will give you seven. Two plus five will give you seven. So today we are going to use 3 and 4. So we we'll write our number here, 3 and 4. We are still going to use the same formula that you had used here. So we'll start again. Remember we are breaking this number. So you write your number 3 and 4. 3 and 4. Then we start. We write 25 first plus 3. Sorry plus three, plus four, equals. You're not supposed to write anything here. We, I'm interested with the breaking apart and your workings. So after that, what we'll do, we'll write the first two numbers, which is 25 and three. So we write 20, 25 plus three. We put them together, 25 in my head, three fingers. So 25, 26, 27, 28. We write the number 28. Then we take the 28, we write it down here. 28 plus this 4. 28 plus 4 is equals to 28 in my head. And make sure you be showing your fingers. 28 in my head, 4 fingers. 28, 29, 28, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So the answer is 32. Thanks for listening to Teacher Alice.